Greetings fellow Expanse lovers. Uh, welcome to a new project and uh, we will this time take a look at one of the most important classes of the ship which is nonsensically uh, called Corvette class, a light frigate from the MCRN fleet. Uh, I, in, in the past I made the Rocinante, uh, but I decided I uh, would make my own MCRN fleet, so I basically redone the model quite a lot and made uh, its own dedicated MCRN version, so if you will, a default version. So uh, let's take a look at the model. And here we are, and this is the model. So, as you can see, uh, on the first glance, it's very different than the Rostinante, which was heavily modified and had completely different color scheme. Um, because this is the default version, it doesn't have any of those upgrades, like uh, the landing legs for the unassisted landing, um, or the carbon silicate lace plating but uh, I um, basically added two new features which Rocinante model which I did uh, does not have and we will get to those in a minute. As you can see it has its uh, MCRN paint scheme uh, and because I suck at painting uh, I decided I will uh, make my life and hopefully yours if you want to print it as well a uh, little bit easier. So all the orange parts as you can see are separate pieces and they are meant to be printed in the, uh, in my case, bronze color. Uh, which means that basically you will not uh, need to paint them yourself. So... Uh, at least uh, for me that's a very big help because that wouldn't be fun at all. There are unfortunately a few, few places where you have to paint it, where I have to paint it as well, like for example here uh, around the bay for the um, drones or uh, here uh, in the MCRN logo. But apart from that, uh, the bronze uh, is not need to be painted. Uh, but you, of course, have to paint the logo, the numbers, uh, the name and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, because uh, basically the design is very similar uh, to uh, Rocinante, there are only few and minor differences. I will not go uh, about how it is actually assembled because that's more or less the same. Uh, I will instead show you the differences. As you can see, it has the standard PDCs, the same uh, which I already done for the Rossi and the Morrigan class. Uh, so they are indeed retractable. So we can open it. We can extend it and we have the PDC open. Nothing new here. The same as I said is uh, in both Rocinante and Morrigan class. But here I added uh, one more thing uh, which is here the torpedo tube and as you can see, it could be open and it holds two torpedoes. I think it's very nice to have something like that here. I personally like it quite a lot. Uh, those torpedoes are the exact same models I did for the Amunra class stealth ship. And even though those two ships are not in proper scale, the torpedoes kind of work so I decided to use them. So those are the torpedoes and another uh, new thing uh, which I designed here is I actually added 
a working a drone so if we open this hatch it will reveal the drone I know the drone is not the best uh, it's uh, certainly not the most detailed model but yeah, the it's, it will not be really big uh, so I don't think uh, having a very detailed model would uh, be even necessary but yeah this is the model so and of course as you can see that will have to be painted unfortunately and uh, once again uh, it has the standard air bridge so if we open the cover here we have the same air bridge which is on both Rocinante and the Morrigan class so the same airlock and the same air bridge yeah so this is all when it comes to uh, the features yeah so uh, the differences are uh, basically mainly in in the way that uh, the pieces are further separated uh, because of the bronze or orange or orange color uh, yeah but nothing very uh, too 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 different yeah so uh, that would be basically it when it comes to the model um, yeah well, we can uh, switch it to the open state where all the PDCs are retracted and let's say that we also open the torpedo tubes yeah now it is ready for battle unfortunately the uh, lower torpedo tubes doesn't work like that um, that's mainly because I have uh, here the hole for the stand which in this case is quite deep uh, basically unnecessarily deep uh, at least for this particular stand but uh, that has a purpose for me because I ran out of uh, place to actually display it so my plan is to actually uh, mount it on the wall on the wall and uh, that's why the hole here is so deep uh, so that I have at least some insurance that uh, it will not uh, fall down uh, it will not fall down because because uh, it will be near my ceiling and falling from this height would definitely destroy it so i want to have it as deep as possible so that it's stable and secure okay so this is the model uh, this is only a very uh, short uh, preview uh, in the next part we will actually print it and uh, assemble it so yeah so I uh, hope you like the model um, I will uh, wish you a very nice day and we will see each other in the next part bye bye